This is Twit. There's a video editor that's been around for a few years um, called Descript. It's it's actually a subscription service. Yes, a I'm free curious version, about but, this. Yeah, yeah, and I've only just barely looked at it, but the, it was the company was started by the guy who founded or co-founded Groupon, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And um, he seems like a good guy too, actually. By the way, so but you know, it's it's kind of like the startup world. So in the startup world. <laughs> Everything is Google Docs and Google Sheets. It's not Microsoft Office. You know, it's kind of a different way of looking at things. But the way they created this was you can create videos using uh, techniques that are similar to the way you might create like a document using Google Docs. And the new version uses AI so that when you record a video, it writes, it creates the script as you talk. So it's transcribing what you say. And then you can edit that script to edit the video, which sounds weird at first, but this could potentially be game changing. So Absolutely. if you, if you go back several months, actually, if you go back to last year, I was working on what was going to become the windows 11 field guide. I wanted it to be different from the previous version, the windows 10 field guide. And one of the things I looked at doing was video. And I thought, you know, in, in addition to writing about what was happening in the, in whatever chapter, I could have a video that would show that stuff and I could put that in the document. It would be available on the web, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I looked at all these different video editors and everything. I looked at how I might do this. And what I discovered was video is really, really hard. And uh, in a, in a bout of really good timing, <laughs> your wife came back to me because we, we had talked about this before the pandemic, but she said, Hey, we're, you know, we're starting to do new shows again did you want to do what became hands on windows? And I said, Oh my God, this is such good timing because I don't want to do this video myself. It's too hard. And, um, and that's how that kind of happened. Thank and so God in this many ways, script wasn't around then or we wouldn't have hands. Well, on I mean, I, I still, I'm going to need a lot of time to figure it out, but I'm, I'm intrigued by this um, because most of it, well, no, all video editors at some point you have like a timeline and you're cropping things and you're pulling stuff in and you're doing whatever you do. And the way this works is actually like the way Notion works. So as you type in Notion, for example, if you want to type a, um, a heading or something, you'll do slash H1 or H2, whatever it might be. And the way that you edit video using the script that it creates as you talk is you type slash. And then there are commands for doing things like adding video clips or adding, you know, whatever, or just trimming things. You know, and it, it's they also got a $50 million investment from the OpenAI fund, if that's the right term, I believe it is, to advance the state of AI in this product. And in the coming year, they're going to be adding a lot more AI features to it, if that makes sense. The open AI startup fund, sorry. Um, but the way it works right now is actually really kind of exciting and very interesting. Um, you could still go to a timeline view. It's a video editor if you want to. But the theory here is that you should, you could be able to edit a video just using techniques that will be familiar to you from editing like a word processing document. And that's, Really exciting. I mean, I, I, the thing I sort of equate it to is way back when, a long time ago, one of the exciting features that Microsoft added to OneNote back in the day was the ability to record me a meeting that you were listening to or watching. And then you could, you would type your notes and you could go in either direction. You could go to any point in the recording and then see what you wrote at that time. Or you could go to your notes and then go to that point in the recording. Right. And it, it's sort of like that. The, the, the script that it creates, which is the transcription of what you said, becomes the point of edit for the video. It's, it's, it's weird because it's different, but it's potentially very exciting. Anyway, if you care at all about video editing, you should check this out. There is a free version. Um, obviously, if you're going to use this, you're going to want to use one of the paid versions, but um, it's, it's reasonable. Anyway, we, we live in such interesting times. Mm -hmm. It really technology has really supported people doing their own thing. Uh, yeah. Kevin Rose yeah. told me about the script. Uh, oh, okay. More than a year ago, I think he must be. In yeah. They've been around for a couple of years. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. And it's just gotten better and better and better. It's really interesting. Um, yeah. I, I, I think a lot of, you know, if you follow the progression of video editors, I mean, I think one of the big movements as it was with photos and anything else is you, you bring it to the web first, right? It becomes like a web service. And so you have this interface, like ClipChamp actually is this, and that's, we mentioned, we talked about ClipChamp briefly earlier. ClipChamp is a web app. So I know there's like a Windows app version, but it's, it's just the web app. It's, right. it's a web app. Right. And that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that approach, but I think the next, like, you know, when Google created Google Docs, they looked at Microsoft Word and said, let's make this, but we'll make it in the web. And that's what Google Docs is. And they added some other things like live collaboration, which didn't come to Word for a long, long time. But fundamentally, it's just the, the same product we've always used, but in a different place. 
but this is looking at the unique characteristics of the world we live in and the and the platform they're running on and saying, well, it doesn't have to be the same. I mean, why can't it be different? Like we have different paradigms for editing different types of things. What if this was different? What if it wasn't this really hard to learn and bulky, complicated process? And I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying it's going to succeed, but I'm saying it's very interesting and it's it's worth looking at uh, for sure. Yeah. Hey, we should talk Linux. It's the operating system that runs the internet, a bunch of game consoles, cell phones, and maybe even the machine on your desk. But you already knew all that. What you may not know is that Twit now has a show dedicated to it, the Untitled Linux Show. Whether you're a Linux pro, a burgeoning sysadmin, or just curious what the big deal is, you should join us on the Club Twit Discord every Saturday afternoon for news, analysis, and tips to sharpen your Linux skills. And then make sure you subscribe to the Club Twit exclusive Untitled Linux Show. Wait, you're not a Club Twit member yet? Well, go to twit.tv slash club twit and sign up. Hope to see you there. <laughs>